I have an iPhone 6s Plus here, and I have stuff going on that uh, I'm uncertain about. So let's go to ZXW Tools first. Okay, so we know that there is a pad here. There's a line here um, labeled LCM to Chestnut Power Enable Connection. Okay, so this uh, tells the Display PMU to send the 5.7 voltages to the display to illuminate it. Right, we know that this is necessary for the LCD to work. So if you ever have a black screen, then then uh, you want to make sure that you're getting this 1.8 volts here. Okay. So my uh, logic is that um, this 1.8 volt line right here, the PP1B8 LCM connection, is a constant 1.8 volts. It's always there. And even if the screen is disconnected, all right. My my logic is that this P, this uh one one uh, one B eight line pipes directly to this uh, enable line. Okay, when the screen is connected. Okay, so basically there should be continuity on the screen from one B this PP one B eight line directly to this to this uh, LCM enable line. Okay. That's that's my logic, okay. And here's here's what I've done so far. It would make sense, all right. So I have a display here, and uh, the the fourth pin from the top, which is the PP1B8 constant line, and the third pin is the LCM uh, enable line, okay. So I'm I'm getting continuity here, you know, on this screen, and this is an aftermarket screen. This is an af aftermarket screen. It's got everything assembled and. Um, and everything. So I have two other test screens here, and I'm I'm going to measure this uh, the continuity across it. And here's the weird thing. Okay, fourth pin. Unless I'm missing something. Fourth pin, third pin, no continuity. Why is that? Does that make any sense at all? I got two test screens here. I'm going to measure the same thing. Fourth pin, third pin, no continuity. You know what? Let's measure the resistance. Let's see what we get from here. So I'm getting high resistance. It's like six six point four mega ohms. So the question is, why is that? Because I and here's how I got to this. Um, I was testing a 6S the other day and I, I got continuity and then all of a sudden I didn't get continuity so it kinda like uh, I can't prove my theory right here if uh, I'm getting different results on different screens so I don't really understand why that is but anyways I'm pretty certain that that PP1V8 LCM connection uh, once the screen is attached, there's continuity that goes to this enable line here, which goes to the display PMU. The display PMU here, and it triggers the 5.7 lines that feed into the LC to allow it to light up. Okay, that's uh, I'm pretty sure that's still the case. But the question is, why isn't these different screens um, producing why, why are these different screens producing different results and I'm not really sure the answer to that question uh, perhaps there's a capacitor in the screen that uh, still holds the voltage I'm not really sure but I'm gonna do some more testing here and we will get to the bottom of it hopefully I think it's still safe to assume that pp 8 goes directly to to the LCM line all right thanks for watching our video um, I just wanted to kind of go over two courses that we have available on Udemy.com right now. Um, if you go to microsolder.com, click on learn, and then getting started, you'll see that uh, we have two courses available. The first one is iPhone Logic Board Repair, the basics, and in this course we go over the basic building blocks of Logic Board to the tools and equipment necessary to the basic uh, fault finding and troubleshooting. Uh, this this course is mainly for 
people looking to get started in the micro soldering. It goes over all the components and, and basic troubleshooting tips and stuff like that. Um, so you can just go to the website and click on the link and it'll bring you to the Udemy page to uh, to buy the course. And the second course goes over which uh, I wrote part of. Uh, it goes over how to troubleshoot problems and it, in this course we go over the three most common um, iPhone repair problems which is no backlight, touch IC disease and charging problems and we, we kind of we go over in detail exactly how to troubleshoot and fix these things so if interested please visit the website microsoldering.com and uh, you can get some more information from there alright thanks for watching bye